Hello Internet. Some of you may have noticed that I've been gone for a while. Let's talk about that. What were you making? Okay, so I've been busy with life stuff in general, but also had some major issues with my printers. Um, I have four of them. Um, one of the which is a Delta, which I've basically given up using because it looks cool and some of the parts but it's a bit more difficult to print with and get level quickly um, it was a cheap one I bought it second hand um, so that was not being used um, and some of the parts have actually been pulled off of it for other printers as well my old CTC which is a replica coin that's slowly been growing over time that's my oldest printer um, basically I've been using it for printing ABS um, and it was just more fiddle, you spend more time getting something to start printing than you would getting a print out of it. Um, so to replace that I bought a King Create Touch um, that was been working okay up until the point where it completely and utterly um, I should say completely clogged. It clogged but it would print things that looked okay until you tried to do anything with them and then they just fall apart in your hands which was rather annoying um, I tried cleaning it out I couldn't find I had the, the CR10 gave me a long acupuncture needle to try and just push filament out and find out what's going on couldn't find that anywhere so I got one of the 4mm drill bits that came with the Cocoon Great Touch and tried to um, drill out into the um, bit and managed to break the bit off in there Luckily, I managed to figure out that the CTC has, since I've modified mine and it's using flash forward parts, has the same size nozzle. So I was able to pull one of the nozzles off of that to put onto the one how crater, uh, one how crater, when it can create touch. Um, and so that's up and running again. Um, but while this was happening, and spent over a while trying to figure out why it was clogging and seem to be working again then not very quickly after anything else um, the CR10 which is behind us behind the black curtain um, started having issues it um, the femister went first um, so basically it wouldn't print because it couldn't tell it was getting hot or not so I was been thinking about um, replacing the Bowden style on that with a direct drive and so I said, well, okay, this is the time to do it. And, and so I went on to AliExpress and found this kit, which is basically a Titan Aero clone from Triangle Labs. Now, it's probably not as good as a real one, but at the time, being that we're a single income family, this was something that would get me up and running for now, and later on, I could replace it if needed. Um, and the one I got, which doesn't seem to be on the listing anymore also came with a um, bill touch as well um, oh yeah, change the set one to get one with a touch um, so I bought that and waited for it to ship over Oop. and started installing that um, got most of it on there got all the wiring for the extruder going the right way started getting to the last part of setting up the bill touch rather than using my um, Easy bed leveling from, um, oh, what's his name? Timothy Hilligan. Um, just because I want to try the touch, and just because that I could use the glass, um, my uh, printed Z plate, and changeably move them around and swap them around and the change leveling height because it was physically touching the plate to level. Um, but during that, I wired something up wrong and blew up the board or the display. I couldn't tell which. I tried unplugging the display and see if it worked with just that. Um, but it wouldn't work that way either. So then I went down another rabbit hole of okay, let's replace the um, board. And I thought, well, I wanted to do second lead screw because of um, direct drive, putting the extra weight on the x-axis. It'd be a good idea to put the second lead screw on. And it's like, well, you can get a kit to upgrade it to the CR10 to the CR10S, 
and why not add that on as well at the same time so I went on eBay and then bought the upgrade kit which has got the lead screw all the parts for that um, and that went reasonably well when it came along except for one thing one of the bolts that holds the original um, plate on so um, the, the bracket on there wouldn't unscrew basically holding the not, not on one side and trying to use the allen key on the other side the um, head was basically reamed out I don't know how that happened it must have been like that since I got the printer ages ago I could not get it out so I had to actually um, pull that plate off by getting everything else off of it take it around to my mum's house where my dad's old workshop is and drill that bolt out so I could then get the remains of the bolt into the vise and pull the nylon lock off, nut off and get the other parts off which I needed um, so then I was able to get those off and put that back together so as you can imagine all this took a spare, a spare of time waiting for number one Titan to come along, Titan clan to come along, set that up, find out, mucked it up, do the um, this upgrade, then do the firmware update for it after that as well, and then do some other stuff with aligning the 2Z screws and everything else, um, and then figuring out how to make all the build touch and that work on there and being very careful this time because I was a little bit paranoid but I didn't want to destroy what I knew, newly just got. But, it appears to work well um, and I printed off a set of plates so I printed off a set of x-axis gantry leveling tools just to make sure this axis is right so I'll show you a time lapse of that now This is what it looks like. Came out quite well. This is before I got the retraction dialed in a little bit better, so I'm getting a little bit of artifacting there. But all in all, works quite well. That's the second one, which just to prove I actually did too. <laughs> um, so that worked quite well. Um, so hopefully, I should start getting back on track on printing again. Because I've got that done and now I can um, start doing the enclosure for the um, Cocoon Crate Touch so that I can then start putting ABS on that again um, and use that as my ABS printer um, and I've also got a second BL Touch clone um, basically because the um, when I fired the board I wasn't sure if I also fired the touch so I bought a second one the first one actually still works so I'll be able to put that on the conclusion right touch and make it so I don't have to level that one either which would be quite nice so I have two printers that I'll just send a job to and print um, so what you're making and hopefully see you next week guys hope you liked the video if you did please like it if you want subscribe There'll be another one coming next Monday. If you don't like it, just like it on the YouTube. Tell me why in the comments. Always helpful to improve. And there's more videos there if you want to have a look. And see you next week.